Yo, you're famous now, huh? Huh? Is it not your face on the billboards, the magazine, and the news? You're now a multi-figure earning best-selling writer. And you couldn't bother to tell your family? Excuse me? You have parents and a brother in this city, Ariel. The least you could do is tell us about your newfound wealth. One, I do not have a family here or anywhere else in the world. And two, I don't have time for some rascally random tech stalker. Please let me be and never reach out to this line again. As a matter of fact, I'll even block your number. It's me, silly. Who? Keith. Oh, I see. What do you want? What do I want? Are you not happy to hear from me? Your twin and only brother after all these years? Not in the slightest. So if you just call to ramble on foolishly, then you're on to the wrong person. <laughs> no, no, I, I just wanted to know how you're doing. <laughs> after eight whole years? Of what importance are any of my tales of woe to you at this point? What if I was dead? Would you still look for me? Please let me be. Return to oblivion where you've been all these years. You're all dead to me, and I should be to you too. Come on, Ariel. You're taking this thing too seriously. Too seriously? You guys practically threw a 17-year-old onto the cold streets with no money, no food, and no place to lay my head. Why? Because I no longer wanted to be a doctor? How evil can that be? That's all in the past now, Ariel. We've learned our lessons, I promise. <laughs> it's too late. Come on now, Ariel. Time changes things. <clears throat> That's how they say it, right? You should know these things. To err is human, you know? And to forgive is divine. That's what you want to say, right? Well, I'm not divine. I'm human. And I'm still hurt by all the despicable, evil, and horrendous things done to me by people I called family. Do you know how hard life was for me? Yeah, I can imagine. You can't imagine a thing! We're so sorry, Ariel. We know we wronged you, but we want you back now. Please come home. The only home I have is the mansion I just built in South Manton. What? Wow. Don't act like you've not heard of it, Keith. I know that's part of the reason why you're reaching out to me now. No. We just want to make things right. Please don't make it harder than it already is. I've already made my point clear, Mr. Keith. I'll never have anything to do with you, or your father, or your mother. You should all stay out of my life, else... Ariel, open your door already! Dad wants to see you this instant! I don't want to see anyone right now! Go away! <laughs> don't think I'm begging you, Ariel. Frankly, the more you stay in there, the better things get for me. Where's Dad's golden goose? Oh, she's hiding under her bed like a coward! Ha 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 ha! Just go away now, Keith! Leave me alone! You know how funny this is, right? Just two years ago, you were the star of our class. All the perfect grades, all the awards. Dad chose you over me. He neglected me because, in his mind, you had the better chance at carrying on the dynasty. You had a better chance at becoming the next medical giant of the Kingston family. But look at you now! <laughs> I don't want to be a doctor anymore! What does it matter to any of you? I am now the medical student in the family. And you? You flopped at the acceptance test twice! Who knew that could happen? When they say the first shall be the last and vice versa, that was what they meant. <laughs> Whatever. Not everyone was created to be a doctor. The fact that mom and dad and all our uncles and aunts are doctors... And me! ...does not mean I have to be one too. I've chosen my own path. Your own path? Huh. Writing meaningless stories? Do you know how stupid that sounds? It might be stupid to you, but it's my truth. And I'm sure you're doing all this just to please dad. I promise you that is the worst mistake you'd ever make. Because the day would come when you'll realize that you denied your truth. But it'll be too late for you to make any turns. <laughs> Let's wait till that day then, Ariel. But today the stage is all yours. That's just by the way. Do you smell something burning? Yes, for a while now. What's that? Your manuscripts! What? Dad tossed them into the fireplace. 
Why would he do that? I worked so long and hard on those! I guess he wants to get you to come out of hiding. Well, I'm not leaving this room. No matter what Dad or any of you do, I've chosen to express my ideas in writing and I'll stick to it. Even if it means leaving this house and this family forever. <laughs> you know that day might just be around the corner. It might not be so far away. <laughs> Hi, um, Keith? I just got home right now and I found a small bag containing my things out on the porch. There's also a note attached to it. Okay, so what do you need from me? Clarity, Keith. Why are my things outside? And why isn't the door unlocking with my key? And where is everyone? Um, you said there's a note on the bag? Yeah. What does it say? It's just one word. Bye? I think it's pretty self-explanatory then. Huh? Dad, Mom, and I, we don't want you anymore. What? What are you talking about? Exactly what you're hearing right now. You have to try and walk with me here. The Kingstons have an image to protect. We cannot have a stain on our reputation. Your reputation? <laughs> well, I'm part of it now, you know. Being that I'm a medical student now and all. <laughs> we had to do something about you. And you just send me out without talking to me first? We both know Dad tried to get to you. You were the one who did not want to talk. And you did say you would stick to your path, even if it meant leaving the family behind, didn't you? I, I did, but... Well then, here's your present. You've gotten what you wanted now. I need to call Dad. Why is his phone switched off? Where are all of you? We're in the Bahamas. The Bahamas? Yeah, we left this morning for an emergency vacation. We needed to catch a break from you, and your stink of failure. It has gotten to this, huh? Apparently. Hold on. Why are only my old ratchet clothes in this bag? There's only one shoe. And my laptop? Uh, I held on to them. What? Why? Because all those things are so expensive and valuable. I figured maybe if I sold them, I'd help Mom and Dad recover some of the money they spent raising you all these years. You can't be a complete waste, you know. You just called me a waste, Keith. Whatever. Just make sure you're off our porch before we return from our trip. I have to admit, Ariel, you were right. I thought I told you never to contact me anymore. I know, I know, but it was urgent. I just had to reach out to family. I am not your family. Whether you accept it or not, the same blood that runs in my veins runs in yours. We are family. Did you call me to toy with my time? Because I'm not down for it. No. I just wanted to tell you that you were right about us needing you for your money. <sighs> I knew it. Just keep quiet and listen to me. Is that a demand? No, it's an order. I'm still your older brother, you know. By two minutes. Same thing. Why am I even having this conversation with you? Listen to me first. You can make comments when I'm done. <laughs> you still don't know how to make requests, do you? Let me just cut to the chase. I need you to give me some money. Why would I want to do that? Things got tough after you left, okay? Out of the blue, everything just started to crumble. How is that my business again? See, Mom and Dad got a divorce. What? She found out that Dad was cheating on her with one of the nurses at the hospital. <laughs> it's not like I didn't see it coming, though. Also, the hospital isn't doing so well anymore. The entire establishment is falling to its knees. Our family is falling apart. And you're just watching from a distance like it means nothing to you. Huh? You're confusing me right now, Keith. Did I simply wake up and decide to leave my family? You said it was a unanimous decision. Y'all let me go without once looking back or calling to find out if I was alive or dead. And now you want to waltz back in like nothing ever happened? Is that how this works? I agree. We were really horrible to you back then. And for that, I have said it, we are deeply sorry. But it all turned out great for you in the end, did it not? That means we did you a favor. What? One good turn deserves another, right? You need to stop living in the past. Taking someone back after you have disowned them is not a casual walk in the park. By declaration, I'm no longer a Kingston. 
and I'm most definitely not legally obliged to do anything for any of you. Plus, I'm a global citizen now, so getting me back will be as difficult as walking on hot coal. There has to be a legal reinstatement, with adequate compensation, of course. We'll not be existing in time for any reinstatement if you don't give me 500k right now, Ariel. I don't have any money for any of you in that house. Leave me alone. Ariel, I've been calling you for ages since we last spoke. You've been ignoring me, but that is not the point right now. I cannot be taking all your insults just because you have some money now. Reply to my texts right away. Oh, Keith. Do I have to lock you up in a cage like a dog before you actually let me be? If that's what it'll take, I'll do it, trust me. But I can't exactly be upset with you. It's my fault for not blocking you yet. You won't be blocking me out, Ariel. Instead, you'll be paying me royalties. Royalties? Why? For being the main character in your famous novel, duh. Huh? You used my real name. My actual name. Even one of my drawings. It was the one you threw at me to mock me, where you depicted me as fat and ugly. It's still mine. You stole my intellectual property as well as dad's and mom's. Our characters, which you stole, by the way, have become famous in your movie. You did not officially have our consent to include us in your publication, so you owe us royalties. <laughs> I knew you were heartless, Keith, but I never knew you were unhinged and stupid as well. Your claims hold no water in the court of law. I do not owe you any royalties. Why do you keep talking in legal terms as if you're a lawyer? I'm telling you, I spoke to my lawyer, who said you owe the Kingston family royalty of up to 15%, so pay it up. <laughs> I guess your lawyer is just as brainless as you are. <laughs> That's not how these things work legally. You see, there goes the legal nonsense again. It won't be nonsense when you realize that I don't owe you a fade in. You do. I don't. And you better pay up, because if you don't, I'll make sure I tell everyone in the world that you're a thief and you stole our intellectual assets. We don't have any business together, Keith. You'd have known that if you even as much as open the book or watch the movie. I don't understand. My novel is a memoir. What that means is that the story was written based on my experiences, most of which were triggered by your hatred, jealousy, and sheer greed. Everyone already knows that there are real-life characters in the book. I have nothing to lose. Oh. That's right. So get off my back and go get a life. Okay then, just give me a million dollars. Ah, oh, here you go again. Are you just hard of hearing? I need that money to sort out things at home and at the hospital. Do you want me to go out and beg on the street when my sister is literally swimming in hard currency? What exactly do you need all that money for? I'll just say it, okay? Dad has been detained for a while now by the district police force. On the counts of? Medical negligence and malpractice. Huh? Hold on. I shouldn't be asking you this for real, but just out of curiosity, I need to know how all of this happened. Dad always boasted of his inability to fail at his job. His cosmetic facility was one of the biggest in the country. Was that not why you fought tooth and nail to have me thrown out of the family? You wanted Dad's assets and wealth all to yourself. No, that was not my intention. It doesn't matter anymore at this point. I just want to know how things got this bad. Well, I hate to say it, but Dad was never a doctor. Huh? Yeah, he lied about his degrees and qualifications in order to inherit the hospital from Grandfather. And so did I. Regretfully. Okay, now that is really funny. You're not even a real doctor? Don't mock me, Ariel. I'm begging for your help here. <laughs> oh, I would never mock you, big bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, please, tell me more. All I've ever really wanted to be is an artist. But I chose to play the long game because I wanted all the money, the fame, and the connections. When you left, I continued with school and soon graduated. Yeah, graduated with a fake degree. <laughs> I then started working with Dad as an assistant MD. I guess that was when the hospital began to fail, right? <laughs> I think I can finish the story from here. Let me guess. As the new assistant MD, you decided the best way to increase revenue and productivity was to hike the prices for procedures and make all the staff work their butts off, huh? 
How did you know that? Uh, I guess it's just my writer's instinct kicking in. <laughs> one by one, those useless nurses and doctors began to leave, and soon it was down to Dad as the only accredited cosmetic surgeon. This was after the client had paid a huge sum for the procedure. You call your patients clients? How crazy can this story get? It's hard enough to say already. Do me a favor and just listen. That was when I found out that Dad had never performed an operation before. He previously always paid his in-house surgeons to carry out the procedures. You could have canceled the appointment, you know. We couldn't. Oh, oh, let me guess again. You and Dad squandered all the money before ever delivering the service. Wow. You guys are a hot mess, really. You've heard the story now. You don't have to rub it in, okay? It's embarrassing having a castaway mock me. What is wrong with you, Keith? Can you not be humble for a single second? How am I supposed to help you at all if you keep raining insults on me? But I'm not begging you to help me. It's an order. Your father is currently in jail for a severely botched surgery that might cost him years behind bars and all his hard work of several decades. And you still want me to beg for help? Do you or do you not need my help? Will you or will you not give me the money? You've still not told me what you need my hard-earned money for. What do you want to do? Buy back his freedom the way you bought your certificates? <laughs> I need a million dollars to pay the lawyer who's going to plead his case in court, as well as other bills here and there. This does not even include whatever compensation the court may demand for the victim. Jeez! It's not called a victim in this case, it's the plaintiff. And you cannot say the lawyer who is going to plead his case, just say the attorney. Spare me all the legal lecture, little miss know-it-all. Are you going to help me or not? I'm only going to do this because I can, and because I'd have done it for anyone else in his shoes. Because, well, I'm such a great person. But I'll only be sending 800k, because I reckon that's how much a regular attorney would charge for a case such as this, given the magnitude of it and all. Huh? How did you... The rest of your problems are none of my business. I believe I've done my best. Please send your account details. I need another million dollars, Ariel. Oh, God. How much longer do I have to deal with you, Keith? Did I not just give you a fortune last week? I thought you'd be off my back now. Yes, but I need more money right now. Stop raising your voice at me, young man. Don't ever mistake my politeness for foolishness, mister. You'll regret the day you do. I know you'll not respect me anymore because you now have more money, but it's all good. See, I paid the lawyer for Dad's case, but she just ghosted me. And it's barely days to the sitting now, so I had to find a lawyer who'd represent Dad in court. I did find one, but he insisted on getting paid in full first. How stupid is that? It's as stupid as chasing your old lawyer of decades with your unbearable attitude. It's also as stupid as you not knowing to run a background research on your new lawyer before making any payments to her. I just need a million dollars right now. Send it to the same account number as before, and make it quick as well. I won't be helping you this time, Mr. Keith Kingston. What? Why would you even say a thing like that? <laughs> because I was that lawyer. Huh? The lawyer who ghosted you? Yes, that was me. What? How? I can't tell you the full story right now, but just know that I later went to college, I studied law and graduated with flying colors. So, Burger and Associations Law Group, that's a firm owned by my husband and I. You're a lawyer? And you're married? <laughs> with twin kids, too. I thought you were just a common writer. Whoa, this is just too much to process. Why did you think I simply gave you 800k of my money? I knew. You cannot imagine how glad I was the day your documents landed on my desk. I'm so happy that karma's finally happening. And she gave me an opportunity to help her take revenge. This might just be a blessing in disguise, then. You're his daughter, Ariel. You can even represent him for free. Are you that oblivious? I will not be helping you in any way. Your father is a fraud, and he deserves to serve a jail term. Helping him go free will mean he'd have more chances at causing colossal damage to people's bodies. I'm sorry, but I cannot be party to that. No, no, you cannot do that. He may get jailed for life. You've been paid for a service you have to deliver. I know this is not legal because I gave you the money out of free will, 
but it was my money first. What's wrong with it if I decide to take it back? This is not fair. Oh, really? Then you're in for a rough ride because unfair is definitely coming. You know all the times I've been giving you an audience and asking questions? I was gathering evidence and collecting your statements. What? How dare you? The way I dared. <laughs> First, I have reported you to the police for immediate pickup. You're also a fake doctor. You're a threat to humanity, and I cannot have you roaming free. You cannot do that to me, Ariel! Second, I intend to develop what I have found into a sequel or follow-up for my memoir. Like an update or something, you know? Oh, you'll pay for this, Ariel! You will pay! Ariel's decision to report Keith to the authorities for posing as a doctor led to a thorough investigation. It was discovered that Keith indeed had misrepresented himself as a medical professional. Legal charges were filed against him for medical negligence and practicing without a valid license. With overwhelming evidence against him, Keith was arrested and had to face the consequences of his actions. Meanwhile, Ariel continued to focus on her writing career and her family, her real support system. She decided to use the experiences she had gained from this tumultuous chapter of her life to write a follow-up to her best-selling memoir. This time she shared her journey of uncovering the truth about her family's deceit and the vindication she found in bringing justice to light. As for her family, they had to come to terms with the fallout of their actions. Ariel's parents divorced and their once thriving medical practice faced severe repercussions. The Kingston family name was tarnished in the community and they had to make amends for their past mistakes. In the end, Ariel's decision to stand up for herself, expose the truth, and seek justice had a profound impact on her life and her family's legacy. But she took solace in the fact that Karma had a massive showdown and she had the last laugh. 